Anyway, let's get get into it, y'all. This is our first piece of news for today. Um, and it's one probably probably one of the staples in uh gaming. Now, possibly, could be, maybe this could happen. I'm not exactly sure, but let's talk about it. So, GTA Price uh could change gaming forever. Developer warns. I take it with a grain of salt. We don't know if this is going to change uh, the price of gaming. Game has already went up, so it's seventy bucks now, which is why I really don't. I be like, man, I ain't trying to pay that. I ain't trying to pay them prices. That's highway robbery, brother. Be buying a game that ain't got all the content on there anyway. But uh, the price of modern games has been. Been a talking point, and some would say a sticking point for the last few years, which we have been talking about that. Um, inflation, then, like, I would say, yeah, it's getting more. He got a problem, it's getting more expensive to make these games, but nobody's telling you to make these trillion dollar games, bro. Like, no one's telling y'all to do that. Y'all shooting yourselves in the foot doing that. Don't try to put all this money into making these games and then. The consumer, you try to tax them on it when you shouldn't have put that much money. Make a lot of like, I I guess like million dollar games, and then the money you make, make like five billion dollar games, I guess three or four million dollar games, something like that. And the money you make from those million dollar games, make that twenty million dollar game. Don't don't keep making these twenty thirty million dollar games and expecting just because you put all that money into it that it's gonna sell. That's just not how it is. Ever since it was it was announced that. Games in this generation would start costing 70, which they do. There has been a discourse on what's best for the industry. GTA is definitely going to be on the biggest games ever. For sure. Rockstar is begging. Uh, let, me get, let me get it out there. Say, so Rockstar is begging you, give us. Oh, this. Oh, okay. Rockstar, I'm begging you, give us another. So we waiting on another trailer, right? That is what it is. Um, if you look back in the late 90s, games still cost between 60 and 70 on the N64 and PlayStation. I remember that. And then some of them games were kind of pricey, though. Like, it was, I'm not sure if it was regulated, but the market was crazy. Like, PlayStation 1 and <laughs> 64 and all that stuff, Sega Genesis, it, it was kind of crazy. So, as we gamers have never really seen a huge increase despite production costs going up exponentially uh, well that's what i just said um supply and demand uh we not asking y'all to make these billion dollar games though this could change however with the, the release of gta 6 one developer michael dawes the director of publishing for Baldur's Gate 3 believes that Rockstar Games could charge much more than 70 and change the price trend for gaming. Uh, as he said on Twitter, almost all games should cost more at base level because the cost of making them, inf inflation for one, is outpacing price trends. But then again, though, yeah, you're... you're you're making these games. You want the consumer to buy these games. But also stop making these $20, $30, $40 million games where you can spend a million dollars and make really good quality games and uh, every once in a blue moon put out a $20 million game. You know what I'm saying? This statement came after his taking issue with the way many games promise future content and wrap it up in Ultimate Editions, charging a premium when the content isn't even finished. So that's a problem right there. You you got people paying like hundred uh, extra $100 to play one mission. What game was that? Can't remember. That's a problem in itself right there. Like, like you know, they, they not selling you the full game, bro. Like, it's like, me asking you for a dime bag, bro. And you selling me a nickel bag. <laughs> and then you give me another nickel bag, but it's empty. And you say, 
give you another five, and you'll feel it. But I already, man, I already paid for the dive, bro. Yeah, man. It get deep. <laughs> yeah, he says, I think gaming should be priced accordingly with its quality. Uh, breath and death. But how do you, yo, what a dub, but how do you, truthfully, be, truth be told, truth be told, gaming is an art, right, in creating it, and you want to make the money back. How do you honestly really price it? Everything has a standard. So if it's if we already paying seventy dollars for games right now, are we gonna pay a cool flat out hundred? Is that what he's saying? Like, cause we we were just paying sixty, and that was it. It was sixty dollars, well sixty five with tax for the depending on your state or whatever wherever you at. It was sixty five for me with tax like taxes. It was sixty dollars and sixty five with the taxes added on for me, for games back in like it's twenty thirteen and shit. So, yeah, do you want to add like a, you want to make it a cool hundred dollars? We already paying seventy seventy five with the tax. They expect us to pay for labor and they keep all the revenue. Yeah, they, what? Yeah, that's the, <laughs> what, the, yeah, that's the, the rip, okay, that's the, that's the gist of it, they're supposed to keep the revenue, and then they're supposed to make better quality games for you to keep bringing in them revenue, so you can keep that company going, but the problem is the CEOs are taking most. The CEOs of these companies who don't do anything day to day, they just kind of like be there and like say, try. They, the CEOs are the reason you got all these live service games and whatnot, and uh, why gaming is. I'm not gonna say gaming isn't stale. It's it's. Game is not stale. A lot of these niggas only play 2K Madden and Call of Duty, so that's why it's stale to you. I've been having fun playing Black Milk Wukong, so I don't know. Like, I've been having fun, but, yeah. Not specifically talking about Rockstar, but that's you stuff all the way. If you can't keep your company up without robbing people, you got, oh, yeah, that's true, that's true. But, see, all these companies starting to rob you. you see, even GTA got a, a subscription model now. It's like, bro, like, no, I don't need that. I don't. Um, but, uh, so how does this relate to GTA 6? Well, if rumors are true, the new Grand Theft Auto installment has cost around $1 billion to produce. Charging 70 for the game would easily make that money back. Bro, how much did they make with, uh, what is that, um, uh, uh, fuck. Uh. Grand Theft Auto 5. They made 8 billion from GTA 5, bro. Worldwide. What do you mean, bro? They going to get that billion back quick. Why would you? They they took off from GTA Online and put in a subscription. And that's the only way you can get the new, get the car now. I heard that. That's like I heard that, but I never really, you know, I only played GTA Online for real, for real with um, with you and Sushi. But I did used to play with my people who was my homies back in the day, who some bitches now. But I don't care for uh, playing GTA Online like that. But they, man, bro, it's the second best selling video game of all time. Two hundred million copies shipped, and one of the most financially successful entertainment products of all time, with over eight billion. Said Grand Theft Auto, it's good to be released. Bruh, they've made eight billion. They spent a billion. They and they made. I'm pretty sure they they made more than that. More more likely with these shark cards, the subscription and whatnot, and them buying that. Um, what it was take. What is that take? The the look. Uh, what you call it? I can't remember. Take five. Whatever it was. But they bought them. So I'm like, yo, y'all got plenty of why why would you charge? Why would you tax people, bruh? Especially in this economy. You know what's going on? You finna tax people? Come on, man. 
It says, but mm, uh, charging 70 for the game will easily make the money back. So why? what are you doing? You're going to make that money back and then some. But the but that cost plus the skill and talent on the team would justify a high price point should Rockstar Games and take two field is necessary. So I get it. You're trying to pay your employees too. I understand that. I get that. I definitely do. But nobody told you to make a billion dollar game. But you gonna make this Grand Theft Auto. It's Grand Theft Auto, first of all. Even the people who only play Call of Duty, uh, Madden, and 2K all year long, even they stopped to play Grand Theft Auto. So you're going to make your money back. But, mm, after saying all games should cost more at base level. So you saying I should pay, but what, basically what you're telling me, at base, this is base level. This is nothing in there, no DLC, just base. I should be paying like what, 80, 100, $90, $100. I don't think we'll get there with DLC promises so much as quality and communication. Everyone's just waiting for this age fix to do it. And GTA 6 could definitely do that. And if any game is going to come out at a high price point and it be accepted by gamers, well, that's what um, 2K already did, though. 2K came out with the $70 price point, and people accepted that, right? Wasn't it 2K that came out first with the $70 price point, if I'm not mistaken? If GTA do it, bro, it, bro, G if GTA do it, if GTA goes up on the price of Grand Theft Auto 6, like, y'all might as well just, like, y'all might as well just start, <laughs> like, download all the free-to-play games because you ain't going to be able to afford to play no games no more, bro. You're not. You're not. 